Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another FIFA 22 video. Hopefully you guys are enjoying Team of the Year. Hopefully you guys are packing lots of Team of the Years. At the moment for me, I'm a little bit too busy to uh, be playing a whole lot of FIFA. Still get a little bit of trading in and making a good amount of coins. But today, I wanted to be just share with you a quick video just on a quick little instruction that some of you guys may already know about but some of you guys do not know about and something that you should be using because it makes a huge difference and i've noticed since the patch with the, the games i have played this tactic has become super overpowered this little instruction has become super overpowered it only works in one position so it only works in certain formations but if you do play one of those formations this is super overpowered now, one of those formations it does work in is the 4 2 3 one. I'll go over another couple of formations that it works in. And it is the central cam spot. And you may already know what this may be. And it is the free roam instruction. Now, this instruction is super, super overpowered. I've noticed post patch, certainly in my games, I've noticed my cam now is starting in any formation. My cam has now started to score the majority of my goals. And I don't know how the, the coding or whatever it may be, but they just seem to get into better goal scoring positions actually than my striker. They seem to just be in, in better positions. So if you're not playing with your cams on free roam, I do recommend you go and try this out um, because it's definitely something that I've noticed that's tweaked. He does seem to drift around the pitch. That's the whole job anyway. But I've noticed that he gets into a lot more goal scoring opportunities and he seems to just get into really awkward positions that allows or needs your opponent's defenders to be pulled around. So he has to yank centre-backs out, and then that allows you to obviously expose them defensively. Now, another formation that I like using the free roam tactic in is the 4 triple 2 Now, I haven't played a whole lot, but it hasn't been as effective in these this formation. It generally seems to be more effective in the formations where it's just a single central cam. So like we did with the 4 2 3 one. Now, in this 4 triple 2 it was still effective, but it definitely wasn't as effective as the single cam. So the 4 triple 2 for me at the moment, I've gone off this formation a little bit because it was the cams that made this formation good. Um, but having these guys on free roam, it hasn't been as effective in this formation. Another formation, obviously, that I obviously love is the 5 2 one two. This is another formation, this free roam tactic works really well. And even though we're playing with two strikers up front, Messi has been getting the most of my goals. I think in my last like 10 games, uh, Messi has scored 17 goals compared to Ronaldo and Pulisic who have both scored 12 each. So my cam with that free roam tactic just seems to be getting into better positions uh, after this new sort of title update, this new patch update, this new um, whatever, it, whatever it, this live uh, tuning tool, I think they've called it. It just seems to be that this free roam tactic is more effective. Now the free roam tactic, like I said, in terms of the players that work in this formation, it is players like Messi. The small, agile players like Messi work really, really well with the free roam. Players like Cantona, Ronaldo, I'm just using players that I have in my team, but Cantona and Ronaldo, when I put them in that position, were not effective. It needs to be someone who's quite small and quite nimble and quite agile in that cam spot. They are far more effective at the free roam because it's more about... Um, getting in, in between sort of tight spaces when people come to press you. If you've got quite a heavy-bodied guy, he's not going to be able to, to be as effective. So obviously it needs to be someone quite small, quick, nimble, agile, and then your kind of bigger body players want to be your midfielders and your strikers to kind of maybe hold the ball up a little bit more. But your cam seems to be the one who's scoring most of the goals, of course. Um, if you can get someone that's maybe got five-star weak foot as well, that would be ideal because obviously they're going to be doing a lot more shooting. Um, so that that is something that I definitely would recommend as well. So that is just a little quick video today that I want to go share with you guys. If you are not using this free roam instruction on your central cams, I recommend using it because it seems to be super overpowered since the patch. Or certainly in my experience, it's been a lot more overpowered certainly than it was pre-patch. It was very, very good. I would rate it before patch, maybe eight. Now I'd say it's a must in every formation that has this. So if you aren't trying this, I recommend you do give it a try. So that is it for today's video, guys. If you did enjoy, do drop a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe as well if you are new to the channel. But that is all for today, guys. Have an awesome day. I'm out.